I use it to keep in touch with my old school friends and I see what my children are doing. My, I've got 27 year old sons, two of them, and a 30 year old daughter and she posts things, of her. she has a, a son, my first grandson, she posts things about him so I can see what he's been doing. So it's, it's just nice to be able to keep up with what they're doing really and photographs and family photographs that are put on. I can see what they're all up to. I think a lot of people don't realise now that um, what they post on Facebook can be seen. So you can lose your job if you post the wrong things on Facebook. I know loads of people have been sacked as a result of stuff on Facebook. I, I don't do any weird stuff. Play the odd game. Sudoku and solitaire and word games, but none of the silly stuff. Only to keep the brain going. <laughs> My husband thinks it's awful because quite a number of years ago um, I was staying at my cousin's house, they were going on holiday, and she said to me, use my iPad. And I felt as if it was a very personal thing, and I said, no, no, I can't do that. Yes, you must use it. So for the two weeks that we were there, I was on this iPad all the time, and I said to my husband, I'd like an iPad. And he said, what do you want an iPad for? You know, you've got a computer, you've got a laptop. And he bought me one for Christmas, which I didn't know about. And so, you know, I'm sort of on Facebook all the time. And he doesn't really like it. He says it's the worst thing he ever bought me. I wonder as well whether it's a bit like the modern version of the parish pump. You know, once upon a time people met around the parish pump or they met in the village shops or the pub, and now people don't. They, they communicate online, which is weird, really. But, um, but we live much more distant, physically distant from people. I think that's got a lot to do with it. Tell you what they say is one of my sons, I've got twin sons, and he's stopped going on Facebook. What he doesn't like about it, and I say he's 27, is you meet a girl um, and you meet them on a, a pub and you exchange numbers and you go on Facebook and you know everything about them. When you meet them the second time, it's not a question of getting to know them, saying what books do you like, what music do you like, because you know it all. Generally speaking, I only look at things and very occasionally add a comment. But I was very worried about security, really, and where your details are going. I've never put a picture of myself on there. I've never put any photographs up or anything like that. I suspect a lot of the reasons that people live you know, so far flung these days, um, and a lot of people have children living on the other side of the world and it's a good way I mean I used to work in Ormsco Hospital and we had a lot of overseas doctors and they could send pictures of their children over to their relatives back home we would never get to see them you know new babies and things so I think for a lot I think that's a lot to do with it I think it's the distances we live from people I've got friends who use it extremely efficiently I think I think it depends whether you're interested in computers I've got friends who are older than me who are brilliant at computers I just don't like them really I look on a computer like an ironing board it's handy but it's not intrinsically interesting